Alright, so I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm going to be doing a voiceover over my uh, speed paint. So this is a Jester Lavor. She is from Critical Role, which is a live streaming uh, show on Twitch where um, a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors play Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry, I have a cough. <laughs> and um so her character is a cleric and she's a trickster cleric and she uh does really really silly things and um to appease her god she has to do silly things like draw suggestive things on other areas of worship and she's just a very bubbly silly character and um because of just her personality and her almost childlike way or view of the world or behavior she's kind of seen as like this sort of like magical girl anime character so I was like all right let's just go that way completely and uh so I tried to go like full anime with this one I did try to draw her before once as a, as a magical girl but it was a little bit more my style and a little bit less uh anime so this time I was like going full-on anime with even the the really um harsh coloring and because I like to be a little bit more watercolory colory when I when I color in on um in a digital medium um but with anime it's very harsh and um so I decided to change her eyes here because the other ones the the pupil was just like so big and I didn't like it and um the reason why, uh, sorry <laughs> Um, that's how Jester talks. Um, so I may start doing that every five seconds, just because it's kind of an addictive uh, voice to do. Um, she's played by Laura Bailey, who's an amazing voice actress, and um, she has a sort of Eastern European sounding accent. I actually work with somebody from Bulgaria, and it kind of reminds me of the way he talks, so it was just kind of funny. Um, but um, anyway, it's uh, John Lee and the Con Hamster, and... Um, I wanted to draw, just draw all of her little friends because a magical girl usually has like some sort of like pet, uh, a cat, a uh, teddy bear. So this one would be a unicorn hamster. And then um, when she calls upon her spiritual guardians, they are tiny little unicorns. Um, <laughs> so trying to doodling some unicorns. And um, I. I drew the test tooth tattoo originally but then eventually I got rid of it because it just kind of was floating in space I tried her uh, lollipop and uh, when I drew the lollipop it like it's really hard for me to figure out how to just draw like shapes I, I've never quite understood how to draw it in face in Facebook and so um, in Facebook what is wrong with me I never really um, figured out how to draw on Photoshop with shapes, and this is I'm using Clip Studio, and Clip Studio doesn't do... I mean, like, I think they do shapes, but, like, I haven't quite figured it out. It's um, for comic books, so there's, like, ways you can draw lines, and you can draw straight lines and whatever, and I tried to do that, but it still looked like crap. I just couldn't figure it out, and then you can, like, stabilize the one to make it, like, less shaky, but then, like, it was super delayed because my computer couldn't handle it, so, like... I don't really know what to do with the lollipop. I think last time, um, what I did was, like, I took a picture of a lollipop and I just drew over the lollipop because I, like, I honestly didn't know what to do. I should have just done that. <laughs> um, so then I started coloring it in. I do a lot, because, um, this one is, like I said, not, I, I guess it's not cell shading. Is it cell shading? I don't know, but it's just, like, very harsh colors and blocks of color. Um, I use the select tool to just select a whole area and then I would just color in it because it, the blending is a lot more severe, I mean, less severe than it would be, like, the natural way that I like to color in, um, and they, um, have very, um, what is the word, Con uh, saturated? Was it, like, when you over, -ex I don't know, there's a fancy word for it, and maybe it's saturated, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> It's what it looks like. So she's got blue hair. She's a tiefling, which means she has um some like demon in her from from back in the in her lineage comes from her mama. 
Um, her mom is also a tiefling, and her mom is a bread tiefling, and her papa, yet to be confirmed, but pretty sure that her papa is going to be this water genasi, who's a gentleman, and he's like a mobster, and he's like really, really cool, and, um, so she's all blue, and I remember to draw her tail, because I keep forgetting to draw her tail every time I draw her. Um, usually tieflings act, uh, I mean, they're typically described as having, like, red or pink or orange kind of skin, a little bit more demony looking, but because she is a, a water genasi, she, um, descendant, she wanted to have blue skin, and it just makes her unique and cute. And then also they're usually described as having kind of like the cleft foot kind of thingy going on, but she wanted to have human feet, so she got human feet, you know? She just, she wants to be herself. Um... Once she started coloring it in, it really started looking a little bit more anime, which I thought was so cute. I haven't drawn this way in so long. I learned to draw, actually, by tracing um, Disney characters and Sailor Moon by Naoko Takeuchi. And so um, I, uh, I drew a lot in anime style, but it was always in her style, because that's how I learned. So um, I was trying to not be completely... Sailor Mooney in this, even though it works with the genre, I just, I didn't want to be stealing her style, I wanted it to still be, like, my style, if that makes any sense. I mean, her body isn't, like, um, an anime body, per se, at least not the anime bodies that I grew up in back in my day. Um, they were very long, like, they had, like, a tiny, tiny little torso, and then, like, the rest of the body was, like, just legs. <laughs> it was super long. Um... So, uh, that, I, I never particularly liked, so that is not the style that I am putting my anime character in. Um, so drawing her, um, horns. I decided to take the symbol of the traveler, which she usually has around her waist, and put it as, like, kind of, like, on her hair as a, like, a little crown hair ornament. And I also made her hair really, really long. I didn't know until I was watching, um, Pub Draw that her hair actually is half up. Like, I was, like what? My mind is blown right now. Um, <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm just going to go with that idea and just give her like a full on ponytail and then her hair is like so long. Um, it's like, like freaking like Anya from Anastasia. It's like, it's up a little bit and then you drop it down. It's like seven feet long. It's like, it's an illusion. Um, and she has this uh, cute little green cape that she wears as uh, in her regular outfit. But I decided to make it over one shoulder, and so I guess it's just, like, an ornamental cape. Like, it's not really a cape. It's just, like, a shoulder cape thing. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's so anime. It's, like, if you ever look at anime characters, like, sometimes they're just aesthetic, and the way that their outfit is, it's, like, so not functional at all. Um, so I went that way with it. and her skirt her skirt is blue and then it has like these cut cut-ins um in it where you could see the underskirt which has like these cute little pink flowers that look almost painted on it but um so I kind of like kept that idea but I didn't do the underskirt because it, they're also a little sexualized <laughs> in anime um so I made her a little sexy um but I still like kept with the idea of the skirt and then it was supposed to kind of look like her little outfit under the the little brown corset was going to be like a romper but it just looks like she's got a really long shirt on and that she has no pants <laughs> so <laughs> I, may, I may have to work on that <laughs> i may have to work on that so i took ideas from her original character design like her sleeves being off the shoulder and um, that they kind of split but they split around the um, elbow to have the fabric dangle where I have the, the fabric splitting up by the um, shoulders to the elbow and then they have these kind of like wraps that go around it so I have that on her and her legs but just more exaggerated and that she doesn't have a bow <laughs> in her original design but she's a magical girl she needs a bow. something 
something so like kind of like pleasing about doing the um select tool because it, like you color in it so fast you just like do a quick shadow do a quick highlight and it's like you're done like that's insane to me um i just fuss so much with uh when i when i color in stuff that like this this just idea of just like solid blocks of color is just so crazy to me um but it's really like fun because you're just like and i'm done to give her a little, uh, little tooth there. I forgot what it's called in Japan, but it's, um, basically the canines, and they think that they're really cute on a girl, her canines. Um, I wanted to give her some kind of cool, colorful, magic cloudy kind of background. Um, so she wasn't just, like, floating in space. character from the beginning was totally obsessed with eating all the donuts um because her the character the person who was playing her actually was pregnant at the time so she was craving stuff and she thought it'd just be funny um to have her like be like homer simpson and just be like donuts <laughs> And then I try to figure out ways to make, make stuff look magical and glowy and fun and just try different um, different brushes that I have, different effects that I have. I'm um, just playing around. I still am learning um, Clip Studio. Like, I've used Photoshop forever, but I just can't afford it anymore. So, um, you know, I, I am doing other things. And this one has little hearts and stars and clovers and blue moons um, that I thought were really cute. And then I draw the unicorn hamster, because she's like so cute, and, um, and he, the unicorn hamster should have a name. What is hamster in Japanese? <laughs> like, what, one of the, one of the, I think it was Utena, like, her little buddy's name was like, Chu or something, which is like the noise like a mouse makes in Japan. Am I losing my mind? Was it Choo Choo? I think it was Choo Choo. Yeah, okay, so like, and it was a little mouse. And over there, you know, like we say squeak, over there they say that a, 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 a rat or a mouse says Choo! That's why it's Pikachu. Um, anyway, that was a tangent and a half. What is hamster in Japanese? I just want to know. Hams, Hamsuta. <laughs> so it's hamster. <laughs> hamster in Japanese is hamster. <laughs> Hamsuta. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna name the hamster Ham Ham. <laughs> that's that's its name. Its name is Ham Ham. Ham Ham. I just decided to duplicate the unicorns because the first one I colored in looked pretty cute. So I was like, all right, let's just duplicate this little babies. And then the epic battle of me and the stupid lollipop. Why I didn't think of just taking a picture of an actual lollipop and then just drawing over it so that I knew what it was supposed to look like. I don't know. But I just fought with this lollipop forever. And it still looked like crap in the end. Like, I hated it. I finally figured out how to do a circle, so that was nice. And then I tried to do this, like, thingy that you can do, um, where you can, like, make bent, like, things, but then they ended up just looking like a rose. It was, it was just really awkward. And then I tried to color it in and make it look like a rainbow. And it was a choice. Unicorn hamster. Not the unicorn hamster. The unicorns are really cute, though. They're so happy. 
I love unicorns, I love unicorns, unicorns, I love them. No, I don't know what I was doing right here. This is when it became a five-year-old's drawing. It's really when I just put the stabilization on like super hard and drew a circle. I was like, screw it. I care. Me trying to put some definition in, into this nonsense. Ugh, it looks like crap. And I try to give it like some glowiness. I should have just kept the glowiness on it and just like hide all of my imperfections. But then I decided, no, 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 I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna blend it out. That's that. That is Jester Lavor from Cut It the Cool Roll, and I drew her as a magical girl. And on behalf of the traveler, she will draw penis on your face. Okay, bye. <laughs>